Alright guys, welcome friends and family. My name is Skylant and this is going to be a first look at Air Mech Strike. This is the re-release republishing of the classic Air Mech. Currently there are 610 players in the game, uh, at least on Steam launch. I don't know if there's another launcher here, but there is also a separate Air Mech game. Uh, don't be confused, this one is the free-to-play multiplayer PvP version. There are challenges and there is a practice mode, so there is PvP or PvE in this one and PvP but there is a, a full campaign that you can purchase of Air Mech. Uh, a lot of RTSs or just games period are doing that now. They separate their multiplayer to be free to play. Uh, StarCraft did this a long time ago, and then they have their campaigns, which you actually purchase into. Uh, so this game is like that. It's separate entities. You have to go look that up on uh, Steam, but this one, we're playing the free to play PVP game. Now, if you haven't ever seen Air Mech, this is an action RTS. This is a really fast paced RTS, but it's a MOBA. Kind of, at the same time. You do have these different units. Uh, we can actually look through those a little bit. Uh, you also change around you, the, the units that you want to bring, you know, the strategy elements. Uh, so you can choose different tanks, different turrets, things like that. You you build a deck whenever you go into matches, and you also do choose a hero. We're going to use the UFO kind of guy here. I can actually show you the collection that I got. Um, we got the UFO, the saucer class. There's a warhog class. Um, there's a bomber class. You know, there, there's a lot of these different guys and a couple more to unlock as well. I'm going to be using the UFO because he kind of plays like Asmodon from Heroes of the Storm slash um, Sylvanas, actually. So I kind of like this guy. Um, I've played with him a little bit in the classic air mech, but I'm still pretty freaking horrible at this game. I don't even know what all these units do. So um, just something I've always played casually, and I think it's a really fun game, but it's more of a hardcore game. So that's why we're not even going to do PvP because, oh my God, will I get destroyed? Well, what we can do is hit play. You can play unranked, ranked, practice, quick play. I believe there is a horde survival mode. You can probably do that uh, through the customs. This is like a little tutorial here, the challenges. I did see, I think there is a horde survival mode. I'm not, I'm not sure, I, I thought I saw it, but anyways. We're gonna be running through, yeah, the campaign is Air Mech Wastelands. You have to go and purchase that separately. Um, but that's cool, I mean, I'm glad that we still get to play the free to play version. Uh, and you can also, here's the shop. It's just cosmetics, guys, you know, there's. Nothing ridiculous, just cosmetics. Uh, you can also purchase the different units, but you can, you're can you totally fine playing whatever unit you want to play. So, um, yeah, you can actually just watch different servers and stuff if, if you want to spectate. I think this game probably could do well with, like, little community tournaments and stuff. You guys are probably tired of me talking. Let's get into the game, right? Okay, let's, <laughs> let's do that. Okay. So, here we go. We're going to be running through uh, the training. Uh, and now, the, the first training, like, Natasha and then this hot guy, they're, they're dumb. Okay, they're dumb AI. It's probably going to get harder and harder as we run through. Uh, but we're going to run, we're going to clickety-clack this chick, and we're going to be playing her. So we're, we're ready. Uh, training, let's go. I'm ready. Air mech. Duel. Uh, the maps are going to look like this as well. It's going to be very uh, perforated. You're going to have these uh, areas, like very laney, and that's going to be important. Uh, there's a lot of strategy or tactics with choosing where your units go, because you do micromanage all your units, basically, uh, and micro and macro manage them as well. So yeah, I got my loadout. Here we go. Okay, first thing I want to build is going to be some money makers. Uh, I want one, two... <clears throat> Maybe one turret just to defend because I want to do some money makers. So there we go. And now I can actually have them auto place. So I just click that. I think there's probably a keybind for that. There's probably a keybind for a lot of things, but I'm going to be clicking so that you guys can follow on the screen as well. Not that I suggest you do that when you really play because this game moves fast, dudes. This game moves real fast. Okay, so first thing I'm going to level up is going to be my death laser beam. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned this. You can freaking transform. So that's a thing. That's a stuffing thing that happens. Uh, you transform. So I'm this little you know, eyeball dude, but he transforms into a UFO. Uh, Decepticons for life, uh, is all I can say. But yeah, you're a transformer, and uh, the gameplay is gonna, you know, play out like that. You, you're gonna be in your kind of commander mode. Oh, don't worry, you totally shoot, <clears throat> too, as well. You know, you, you actually impact the gameplay like this, but then you can transform and use your abilities and stuff like that. Well, actually, some abilities are gonna be inside your saucer mode, uh, or whatever, your flying mode. And yeah, every everyone is a flying, you're a flying robot, and then you're a ground robot. So it's gonna play like that. Obviously, you know, you transform when you go over these uh, holes here. All right, so time to start building up some cash, uh, and we need to start killing those things. So where are these units going? This, these guys. Okay, there's a, there's a PVE section over here. I'm gonna help them take over this, real quick. Like I got my laser beam. Yeah, here's the kind of Asmodon style uh, gameplay. You have auto minions. These guys are gonna travel to the different bases, so you can take them over. So there is kind of a PVE element, like you would expect in a MOBA. Not so much in RTS. It takes four units to go inside to actually take that over. And then, yeah, good stuff and things. Okay, we're making a lot of money. Time to time to do some damage. So I'm going to spawn some uh, armadillos. I'm going to get a turret. Okay, so one, one strategy I kind of like doing is spawning a wall of these guys. Like, getting a wall of these dudes. I'm going to actually tell them to uh, follow me here. I'm just, I'm just going to get I'm just going to get this uh, just the, just a big a, a mass amount of uh, enemies here. And yeah, you do have to control them like this. 
uh, this game should actually control very well with a controller, literally. Like, it should be totes fine. So yeah, I, I like making a wall and then building up uh, the turret. Okay, so we're going to set them to attack now. Let's get these guys. Now I can actually place these wherever I want. I don't have to place them outside my base. So we're going to set them to attack. So press T. Everything should be in attack mode. I'm going to grab this turret. And I'm going to place the turret, uh, you know, in range of this. So hold on. Wait, I got to wait. I got to wait for my wall to come up. Come on, dudes. Attack. Or follow me, I guess. I don't know where they're going. I wanna, I'm going to attack this thing. Okay, we're going to place the turret down. All right. Place it down. Oh, wait. Crap. I didn't even grab the turret. Whoops. I grabbed like some random miscellaneous thing. Okay. There we go. We got the turret. Let's laser beams. All right. Is the turret in range? Okay, good. The turret is just in range. Now we got our wall tanking for us. And so as you can see, it is it is an action RTS. Okay, so we're going to set them to... Um, I'm going to set them to defend here, actually. Let's see. It is very action-packed. And you haven't actually seen... Oh, oh crap. I didn't see this thing. You didn't actually see the enemy um, AI yet because they're stupid. I, you know, it's just like a little tutorial. <laughs> they need to be stupid or else, you know, you're going to suck, but... Okay, so um, let's go ahead and make another money maker. We should place here in that little slot. Uh, we place another one over there. Let's get my turrets. I'll put them uh, in the corners here. Money maker. Money, 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 money. Yeah, spawn another one of these guys. So we're making that money. We're getting that currency. Here's a little graph here. I think that's what that's for. And um, send, send all our units. To oh my god, I didn't know I had this guy. Okay, I have an extra guy. Uh, I should probably actually keep him back here just in case, dudes. All right, send these guys to attack. Okay, we got two bases. Uh, this one is very defenseless, but we can spawn two more money makers and a turret just to defend it. You know, just kind of doing the basic stuff, just kind of showing you like the strategy. I don't think I need to do this with this AI at all. Like, I just don't think I need to. But um, yeah, man. Okay, we're gonna start. We're start. We're gonna start going ham here. We're gonna start going a little bit more ham, showing you a little bit more aggression, which this game is totally freaking good at. As you can see, how freaking fast I'm moving. Also, as you kill things, you level up. So we're gonna level up our blink. We also have this cool ability where I can abduct enemy units, which I think is just freaking neat. All right, do we have an extra turret? I'm going to spawn a turret over here, and hopefully it can just place automatically. Uh, the maps are decent size. I mean, they're still arenas, but you know, you can do some sneaky stuff over here. You can, you can, you can send some units over there. You can do some, sneak, some sneaky, sneaky stuff. I like it. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get some tankies. Let's go. Let's build it. Um, actually, let's go. Let's let's just mass these guys. One tank and just a mass amount of whatever these guys are. So, yeah, we'll just just auto spawn those dudes. I need to get into the thick of things, anyways. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's attack. Send the units to to, to go. Let's do it, boys. Actually, actually follow. Actually follow me. Uh, they're they're gonna go out and get themselves killed. You gotta mass them up together. I could be moving ten times faster if I was good. Okay. T T for attack. All right. Let's get on the ground. Let's do this. Uh, those guys are going over there for that AI base. So yeah, a lot of the game is the PvE, you know, working your way across the map here. Kind of base building in some ways, but not really. You're not building literal bases, but you are amounting, you know, amassing armies. Oh, there's a lot of uh, defenses here. I think as you get closer to the middle of the map, the uh, bases are harder to kill. Oh, 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 no, we're about to die. I'm about to die. But don't worry, you can actually go back to base to refuel, health and energy. Oh, sexy. Feels good, man. Okay, so we might not... Be ready uh, for that sort of commitment there. Just a lot of a lot of those guys there. We might not be ready for that kind of commitment. We might be able to take out uh, this base here, maybe. I can kind of help to destroy this a little bit, kind of. Maybe. I think so. I think I'm out of range of that. So I, I think I can do this. Oh, no, the missiles are they're getting me. No, I think we're good here. Now, you can't run out of energy. You need to go back and uh, restore that, re-get that. There we go. Good to go. Jumping back into it. You can see your experience uh, at the very bottom there, the yellow bar. Oh, it looks like we actually took this one over. Oh, wait, hold on. I think I can take this over. Hold on. If I stand over it, um, I should be able to uh, acquire it. Just takes time. Just takes time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. And see, there we go. And now I can actually um, regen this if I bring it over here. And, yep, there you go. Put it back down. Ow. Anyways, I actually don't want this here. I want to put this uh, kind of like over here like that. No, maybe like maybe like right there. And um, what is this? There's like a little box here. I don't know what's going on with that. Anyways. Random effect, random graphic, another turret here. Just place that guy right there. Get the mo oh wait, this is a tank. Um, place that tank. Okay, place that guy. There we go. Money makers, money makers. All right. Feeling it. I'm feeling it, boys. Now, yeah, some you can only attack a ground units if you're on the ground, I believe. Maybe. Something like that. Attack units. Oh, I should be spawning things. Hold on. Okay, let's let's spawn some things. Let's spawn this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Sure, I don't know. Stuffing things. <laughs> like, let's just do the do, my dudes. 
So yeah, let's uh, let's just auto. I, w I want to send these to auto charge. Let's just see what, what happens here with these. Yeah, just let's do it, dudes. Oh wait, is that a repair bot? What is that? Did I just put summon a repair bot? Oh, let's get let's get one tank in here at least. One or two or three or four or five tanks. Oh wow, we're getting a lot of stuff here. So yeah, just I'm just gonna have it on follow me. Okay, yeah, we're, we're let's amass an army and let's end this match. Let's end this first impressions. Um, but yeah, there's different units that you can use. They play very differently. Uh, the little units, and then of course your actual MOBA character unit. The game plays very fast, a lot faster than what I'm playing. Trust me, guys. When you play PvP, uh, this is also a 1v1 and 2v2 game. So even if the population isn't fantastic, it uh, it actually is, uh, I think, pretty good. You know, 600 for a niche game like this, 600 is pretty okay. Okay, I, I was thinking we could go to that one. I was thinking we could go to that one, but it's you know it's totes cool. We'll just uh, we'll just do this one, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I'm not really sure how to control the units. I'm, I'm a little bit scared to actually try to con um, take over one of the enemy units here. So, I don't know, where where the crap are they going? Yo, yo guys, yo guys, that's not at all where I want you to go. <laughs> not at all, man. Let's level up this laser beam. Okay, yeah, let's, let's get these guys, okay. Okay, yeah, there we go. Feeling it, feeling it, dude. Okay, reeling in it. Yeah, okay, so the AI is like really dumb. The AI has got like one base, so right here we could probably just amass a big army. Let's just, let's just spam buttons and see what we spawn. I, I think, it, I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be totally cool, man. What is this? Move air mech. Move to waypoint. Oh, move to air mech. I think I like that. Just move to, move to air mech. I think, what is that? Is that the whole army? Is that like everything? Or like, how does this, how does this work? Just move, move to air mech. Move to waypoint and then stop following air mech. I don't know. Is everything gonna follow me? Follow me, dudes! Everyone, follow me! Hey, look at me! Follow me! And I'm gonna take this turret. Let's take this turret. Oh, is this anti-air turret? Oh, that's an anti-air turret. I don't want that. I just want this turret. All right, guys, we're gonna take over. Uh, we're gonna take over this base. Let's we'll slap down that turret right down there. I wanna see what happens. How much uh, health do turrets have? Can I use them as a wall? I don't know if I can. Probably not. Doesn't seem like it. I'm playing. The, I'm gonna play the dangerous game here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Leveled up. Oh, we got F4 now. What is this? A teleport ability. Okay, how do I use the teleport ability? That is going to be a uh, middle mouse button. Oh, whoa. I just picked up all my units. Oh, I didn't even know I could I could pick up group units. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. I, I've, I've literally... I've played this game before. I literally did not know I could do that. So, um, that's my thing. Oh, I guess, I guess that's my ultimate. Oh, okay. So, that's my number four. I could pick up a bunch of units and then move them and instantly teleport them. Oh, okay. Okay, so what are these boxes? What is what do you have? What is what is this little area? What was going on over here? What is this place? I don't even know. Anyways, I need some more energy. We need some energy, boys. Uh, and this base doesn't even have any places where I can build money makers, so it's just kind of a defensive base or just something to get in the way. Uh, is this supplies? Is this like a money cache? What is going on with this? What is this? I got I got a lot of credits, I think. So spam the tanks. Oh, I had a lot of money, I guess. Oh yeah, we have way more. Okay, wait, we have way more than we need. Okay. Way more than we need. Let's just let's go wait. Let's go end this. Okay, so you've seen the mechanics. You know what the game's like. Let's go ahead and end this. There, there's the other guy. Normally in PvP, you would be you know dog fighting it out with this guy. So Kira's gonna want to try to get away, and I'm not gonna let him. Uh, don't worry, respawning is super fast, super easy. It's it's not a problem. So, all right, guys, um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just move move these units out. No, no, I want you guys to follow. Can everyone follow? Follow me. Follow me. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the main base here. We're going to the main bases. Main bases. I'm gonna, I'm gonna laser beam. He's only level one. Yeah, he's not even been leveling up. So the AI is just stupid. This is just a way to learn the mechanics. Um, but I think it does get more difficult later. And if you do want an actual campaign, you do have to purchase that uh, separately. But this is a game I've always been excited about. I used to put it in so many top tens, uh, but then the population died out. So anyways, here we go, guys. Um, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna come up, teleport these guys, drop them off here right in front of the base. Um, and so you can see in the top right there, the main base, you do only have one main base. That's all you gotta do to win. You kill the main base and you're good to go. So that's gonna be get, getting just destroyed. Just demolished. Where's my bases? <laughs> Where am I going? Okay. Res up here. Get get the tanks. Oh wait. Oh man. Oh I can't. Okay. I wait, I can Oh yeah. I can pick up multiples. Oh wait, why are they going backwards? Guys, 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 guys. I need some backups here, boys. Okay, uh put it to attack. Attack, attack. Or defend this. Attack. Attack, guys. Attack, attack the bases. Attack the bases! More tanks, more tanks. More big fat tanks because we're just playing against a dumb AI, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so I got my multiple units moving a little bit slower. Moving a little bit slower. Where, where the crap are you going? Attack! I don't know where he's going. He's doing stuff and things. Anyways, we're gonna sit here and we're just gonna do the damage. Level up the death Asmodon beam. Let's go! Laser beams! 
dishing out the pain. And this is kind of how you win. Not exactly how you play or combat enemy air mechs or strategies. It really, there's a lot more depth to the game uh, that uh, you, you're not going to see quite instantaneously. But, you know, for a first look, hopefully you guys understood the, the main basic mechanics. It's in MOBA where you directly control the RTS elements. So it's an action RTS proper. Very unique game, very different. And if you're interested in this kind of game, there's also a game called Dragons and Titans, which also has a built-in campaign for free as well. That also was around the era of the Chrome Web Store and a lot of mobile, I'm um, sorry, uh, browser-based games that were really interesting. So you might want to check that one out too. Um, but yeah, I love Air Mech. I liked it a lot. I think this is a, still a cool game. I'm glad it has kind of like some republishing, this re-resurgence. Again, 600 players, not a lot, but for this kind of game, that's actually okay. That's pretty decent. And it's something that's uh, worth trying out at least once. So check it out. It can be played with a controller. And anyways, guys, keep that hype alive. Thanks for watching. Just a first look. I know I'm not great at strategy games. I'm trying, okay? I'm trying to get a larger coverage of different kind of games and hopefully appreciate that. Hope you guys have fun. I'll see you in the next one.